All right, so what I got going on today, right now, it's kind of going to clean up a little bit. We got some bogey wheels for the tracks for the combine that we're going to take over and put with the tracks for the combines, or for the combine. It's, they've been sitting around, I'm just tired of kicking them around. Uh, we got some scrap metals. These are the bogey wheels out of the tracks on the skid steer that we changed a while ago and we haven't done anything with. We got some other parts, some planter parts. We got a bin for the planter right there. That's going to go over in the other building. We got an arm for the planter for a wheel that's got to go over to the other building. I mean, we just got a bunch of stuff in here I'm trying to do a little organizing, you know, so that way when it's 30 degrees out this winter and, or 15, we're not trying to do all of it then and we can actually just pull stuff in here, work on it, pull it out and do that. It just seems to be a little bit more effective in the, like right now. And then I'm not trying to do it when it's cold out and I don't want to be outside. So it's easy to have the door open now and we'll just throw everything in the back of the Ranger and run it around and do that and just keep moving until it's all taken care of and go from there. So I know there's some batteries in here that need to be something done with, you know, we got axle fluid that we need to change on our loader all that fun stuff so hopefully we can get some of that this area cleaned up i want to be able to put the corn head over here and i got some cleaning i got to do over here to do too All right, so we got our load of tires here and some rollers or some bogey wheels Ready down the road. We gotta go drop them off at the other farm where we store all that stuff. They gotta be inside then. They are spares, so might as well keep them inside and out of the sun. Can't wait to go play with you. Can't wait. All right, so we're over at the other farm now. You can see, we store tires here. All of our semi tires are stored over here. All of our ones that we're about to use or our spares, and then we got some spare implement tires for the spreaders and stuff. And yeah, just a whole bunch of tires and other useless junk like hoses and stuff are over there. And I don't even know what that is. And you know, this is where we store the sprayer and all of our other equipment. If anybody wants to buy a mixer, that is for sale. The tracks for the combine. Uh, they're aftermarket. They're not a factory thing. But they work great. They go through however deep of mud you want. And you don't have any issues. But the only, my only complaint, as you can see right over there through the whatever vine that is. Now we're missing two bogey wheels and they're right here and after you pack 70 acres of mud or drive through 70 acres of mud with probably this much of the track under mud um they kind of don't like that and the seals let some mud in from all the grit and everything and just kind of lose bearings so that's what happened with these We've already rebuilt the whole set completely once. Um, just, we probably shouldn't have been out there doing what we were doing, but we need to get the crops off, so we did it. And do we regret it? Maybe. Are we gonna do it again? Maybe. All right, so just stop and check. These beans here are actually the neighbors that butts up along the track, the trail that goes between the farm, our other farm. He owns one side of it, we rent the other side, and even his driest beans are still like 20, 25 percent, so. These are the farthest along beans that I would say in the area. All right, so these are the beans back behind the farm. I mean, you can see here they're starting to turn yellow, but out there, I mean, there's still a lot of green. Still, there's, this is the most yellow I've seen in the field, most mature. So, I don't know, like I said, it'll be two or three weeks before these ones are probably ready to run. All right, so we're back at it for another day here. We're uh, out spraying. 
Uh, we have a cover crop of oats out here that we're spraying off. This field's going into wheat. So it's time to get it sprayed off and killed. And that way we can, we're gonna try to no-till some wheat into it and see how that goes. Um, just out of, never done it, but we'll see. This field was just disked over, is actually what it was. Um, the cover copper oats we planted this spring and then we put all of our uh, green beans, snips, and pumpkin waste on it. So then we worked it over and it's actually, that is where this oats is coming from. So yeah, it's going along pretty nice. This was probably a month, uh, month and a half of growth on it. And so I'm just spraying it off now. It's middle of September. And it's September. I don't even know what actual day it is. I know it's Monday, but um, I don't know the actual date. It's not really that important anymore. So. Yeah, today has been a, a great day. I sprayed uh, somebody else's field this morning. Um, get that ready for weed as well. And first thing I did was spill them out and do all over my lap. And second thing I did, about two minutes later, was split the top of this tank open. So now all we can do is half tanks. Uh, it kind of sucks because of that, but what else can you do, you know? I mean, tank. But before we owned it, sat out in the sun and plasticking in the sun, either sun fade and get rotten or pretty much do that exact thing. And then we, I just had a half a tank of water on and it moved just right. And the water went from front to back or from back to front, however it worked. And it was pushed up against the front wall of it and it just it right across the top so that happened not really excited about that so um, we're just gonna run a half a tank for right now we got this field that I'm in right here and then this field right here I need to spray and then I mean I think we're done spraying for the year so we figured we could probably get away with doing some half tanks um, get the, I think there's 35 acres here or something like that 36 acres so we'll just mix up two half batches and go for it and see how far we get so everything seems to be going good i just can't make any sudden stops or moves and uh, it's just how it's gonna be so So here's the split in the tank. I don't know how well you guys will see, but it starts right over here, rounds across the whole top, down over to here. So pretty much the whole top of this thing is split wide open. Uh, I mean, you can see that there's definitely some cracking in it that was already started, you know. But we also know that this machine sat outside quite a bit looking at the sun fading on it and how the paint peeled and all that fun stuff so machine definitely sat outside quite a bit can't really do anything about it i mean it is what it is so make sure we get some water in there and get ready to keep moving i only got about 13 14 acres left so
so this thing's all ready. I finished up spraying. Um, right now what I'm doing is draining this tank here. I don't know if that'll make it go faster. I'm draining this tank down into this one so I can run clean water through the booms, get it all cleaned out for the winter. Uh, I just like to get the Roundup and everything out of it. I think it's better for it that way. I mean, there's still a lot of foam in here. Can't really do anything about that out in the field, but this thing will get winterized. And remember, this is getting a new tank, so not real worried about it at the moment. I just want to get the boom all cleaned out, make sure that doesn't have a bunch of Roundup and stuff sitting in it. So the plan is, we're just kind of waiting for this to go. I'll run, I don't know, 20 gallons, 30 gallons through the boom. And then I'll dump the rest out through the valve on the bottom. It's so diluted down at that point, it really doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think I've sprayed 12 or 1300 acres this year in this thing, and it's done great. Pretty good for just picking up and putting some valves on the bottom and going. Haven't really done anything else to it. Um, just, it sucks that the tank split. I mean, you can see on. Even this tank here, all the cracking going on in it right through here. It's got cracks here. All throughout this tank is all, it's all cracked up. Um, it's pretty much junk, that's how I see it. Um, I had a feeling when we bought it, that that's kind of what I was looking at. But I don't know how long this tank's gonna last. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully it didn't do this. In the middle of spring, that would have been a really big issue, but you know, it is what it is. You can't really control it. I mean, maybe if I would have put 600 gallons in it instead of doing a half a tank, but you know, I didn't need all that. You know, you can play the what if game all day long and come up with a reason, but you know, it's whatever. So we're almost empty now. Hopefully we can get home at a decent time. I don't know, I'm just gonna run this thing home tonight. Um, there's no reason for it to be up in Rothbury, so 